Hello and welcome once again to Paulette's Projects and this time it's episode 2 of the uh, Mercedes-Benz E200, the car that cost me £995. Now I've done 836 miles in this car since I uh, collected it from Essex Mike, now I'm in Danny, near Dartford Cushing. And it's been a very pleasant 836 miles, it's a lovely, lovely thing to drive. Is it fast? No. Is it comfortable? Yes. And uh, yeah, very happy with it. In fact, the C-Max behind me, the MRT expired and this became my daily driver. And very happy about that I was too. But the C-Max is now back in action. So the Mercedes is on light duties and that means I can crack on with some more work. But in the interim, I have been doing other works to it. So some things have changed, some things have been fixed and some things have improved. So join me in this episode when we'll go through what I've done, what I've fixed, what I've tweaked. And at the end of this episode, we may end with some really, really big wheels. Maybe. No promises. Why, car? Why must everything be difficult? Right then, so what have I been doing to the Mercedes? Well, First of all, it's been interior stuff because while it wasn't bad when I picked the car up, it did need a little bit of love. So we have cleaned all the mats, I'll give it a good vacuum out. So before you vacuum, the little toilet brush on a drill. Again, linked in the description below, £10 for a set of three. Just lifts all the dirt out of the carpet that bit better before you vacuum. Brushy brushy so that I don't get arrested by the YouTube car place. Because if you're gonna clean a car on YouTube, you've got to put stripes on your carpet. Ha oh, you got out the lines. Hey, I don't make the rules. YouTube does. And then I did some of the technical stuff. So the stereo was next to hopeless. So I took the stereo out and popped it neatly in the bin. So that's gone now and that can't hurt anyone. And what I did was I replaced it with a uh, Blaupunkt Madrid 200 BT, which is a beautiful little mechless unit. So it has no mechanism in it, no CD player or anything like that, because it's 2023. Who has CDs? He says with CDs behind him. And I thought that would be perfect because it's very period looking. It doesn't look like Blackpool Illuminations. And it just it's plug and play standard iso in the back so i put that in it didn't work because the old stereo didn't have a switched ignition live so i had to jump into that but i, I basically changed the wire from the cigarette lighter which is a switched ignition live and now it's fine it works as it should and it's brilliant pairs with the phone the bluetooth hands-free is excellent even though it's only a little microphone in the front 85 pounds very very well spent again link in the description if you want a retro looking stereo that isn't going to blind you and just does stereo things, that's the one. With that, while I was doing technological stuff, I took the cigarette lighter out because again, it's 2023 and who uses a cigarette lighter for cigarette lighting purposes? And I didn't want a million plugs, so I got a twin USB with a voltmeter in it. So that's now in there, had to, had to waller out the, uh, the hole a little bit, so to speak. Sounds like a Tinder profile. Um, but then I managed to get it in, again, like a Tinder profile. Uh, and then I gave it a good screw at the back. Again, Tinder profile, and now it's in and wired in, and I can just plug my phone, anything like that, up straight from the car. And it's got, like I said, a little voltmeter, so I know my alternator's working. Always nice. But 
that's not all I have been doing. I've also done some stuff on the outside. Next up we have the headlights. Now, they were quite amber. Well, not even amber. They were quite like the window on a pub in 1976 that kind of brown quite horrible so they needed something to do it and it's had advisories in the past for um substance or, or or some sort of coating on the headlights which was just the plastic eroding so i bought a kit i'm thinking i'll do it with the little sanding pads and all that um, and as ever those kits are useless like really useless the only good bit that came from it was a little drill attachment so that I could put that on the drill and polish it faster. In the end, I just went for some uh, thousand grit, bit of all purpose cleaner to moisten things up, a bit of thousand grit, and then went over them, because they're only plastic, obviously, um, went over them to take the bulk of the stuff off, um, and then went a bit finer, and then I hit it with some, um, some medium compound. And then after that, I went with just a fine polish, and, um, again, use the drill attachment to apply that with a little wool pad, um, and they've come up a treat. They're you know they're white now. Um, I've just cleaned them again, and I've also given them a ceramic coating. The kit came with um, a coating that you just sort of smear onto it almost. It's, it was quite thick, and you meant to rub it on with a little pad, and it didn't sit level. It didn't level out in the end, and the headlights looked like they'd been painted by a toddler. So. I got rid of that and I've ceramic coated them and if they fade again I'll clean them back and then I might lacquer them but for now they look lovely and not yellowed not like the uh, not like the teeth of dot cotton rest in peace dot now the Mercedes is challenged shall we say visually so there are things that uh, I could do to improve it Really, the body's not in a great way. It needs a new wing, which I will replace. And the paint's never going to be perfect, but there are bits that I could do. Bits like this. So this is a bumper insert, and this was held on with a little self-tapper, which is less than ideal. So these fit into the bumper. They're a slightly different colour. This is uh, Lordite grey, and they just tied the bumpers up a bit. Now, the car was touch-parked, shall we say, in the past, so I thought... I'll renew those. I had a look on eBay and they were like 27 quid each. So how can you say no to that? So I got two new ones um, for the front bumper and I got one for the offside rear because that's that's quite bad. That's very, very flexible and broken. And then all I had to do was paint them up and uh, fit them to the car. So here's the process that I went through to get them on the car. In terms of the painting, pretty straightforward. They're just little plastic parts. So started with a coarse Scotch Bright pad and just went over the plastic and just to you know just to give it a bit of a key so that the primer had something to hold on to. Went over it with coarse and then fine so that I didn't have any big deep gouges in it. Um, you know, as long as you don't go hell for leather, you're fine. So you do that and then go over it with the fine Scotch Bright. And then that's about it really in terms of prep. Obviously, give it a wipe with some alcohol or some panel wipe to make sure you've not got any greasy finger marks on it. Because obviously paint doesn't stick to your greasy mitts. So do that and then I laid them all out and just hit them with a couple of coats of primer. So I went for the first one, which is a light coat. And then I went for a second, slightly heavier coat. And then I went for a third coat with a bit of coverage. And you let that flash off, let that dry. It takes it, what? 20 25 minutes something like that nothing nothing too long and after that go over them again with the fine scotch bright pad just to smooth it out and get any little bits that might have landed off it or landed on it um off the primer and then again give it a wipe down with the alcohol or the panel wipe so i did all that and then it was the color so shake the can obviously as is part of the course make sure you wear some breathing stuff because paint is quite caustic and can uh, sit on the older lungaroonies and you don't want that. Um, I didn't wear a mask because it hadn't arrived yet. Je suis idiot. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, paint, same with the primer. Light coat, then go for a coverage coat after you've let that first one tack off for 10-15 minutes and then go for a third coat to really finalise the coverage. Don't do what I did um, and misjudge the light because there are bits that I've missed. But again, cheap car, doesn't matter in my case, but in yours, make sure you really go around it and have a proper look. And then finally, I had to put the clear on it 
the clay in this case was a satin clay because these parts aren't gloss and I didn't want them to look sort of juxtaposed to anything else on the car. So I just went over it again, same thing, three coats, light, heavy, heaviest, and 15, 20 minutes between them. And then I left them overnight to cure and the uh, job was a good one. But that's not all I did. There's more. Before I put the new big wheels on, which you've not seen yet, but you're about to, um, before I put those on the car, I'm going to polish this wing with the DA, which is on the floor there. Now, if you're a professional detailer, if you clean cars for a living, or if you know more than I do, I don't want to hear it. I know that this panel has been in the sun, it's hot, I'm doing everything wrong. Um, I've got no idea what I'm doing, it's the second time I've used that DA, despite the fact I've owned it for over a year. It can't go well, but no matter how this panel comes up, it still has to be replaced. So it's a sacrificial panel, and I'm just trying to see what happens. Like, does it make it look a lot better? Um, I am going to be, pretty soon, an accredited detailer. I'm going on a training course with, um, with my new sponsor, who um, they're just working on getting an online shop going at the moment. But um, as soon as they do, you'll know about it. I can't say who that sponsor is. Whoa there, past me. Cool your jets before you start polishing that car. Past me is wrong. This is current make future me not the it's, a, it's the same me that was the but like this is me and i'm telling you that now we do have a sponsor or i have a sponsor and that sponsor is nielsen chemicals now nielsen is not a name you might have you, you might not be overly familiar with but believe you me you're about to be um nielsen do a lot of stuff sort of commercially on a grand scale and now they're moving into the um, enthusiast and consumer range now i've been using their stuff for a long time i discovered them a few years ago and it's great stuff and then when they approached me and said we'd like to sponsor some of your videos i was like yes please i would like that very much so that is what they've done now nielsen have been going since 1969 um, they know what they're doing they make everything here in the uk i've had a tour of the facility they've got labs and they've got people in white coats going at, like receptacles full of fluids and things like that and they do everything so this is the new retail range that's going to be out soon so we've got excuse me we've got interior cleaner exhibition polish interior dressing exterior dressing silicon um silicon free tire dressing leather maintainer uh, various grades of, of uh, compounds and polishes uh, there's quick detailer there's fallout remover there's snow foams there's shampoos there's everything you need as the enthusiast at home to keep your car looking tip top it's pretty much what i've used on the mercedes exclusively um, now i've been up there to their detailing academy um, i was made an accredited uh, detailer which was quite nice um, and we filmed a couple of videos there so they're coming uh, this isn't a sponsored video this is a bit of bonus content for them because now that i'm wrapping this video up i can say that i'm uh, i'm part of the nielsen team as it were um, but there will be videos coming up we're going to have some competitions i'm going to have a discount code for you when the retail website is live which they're testing and working on now so that should be soon um, we're going to have a chance for someone, be it a subscriber, a patron, uh, just a, a competition winner, to come and take, uh, bring their car to the Nielsen Detailing Academy and it will be detailed by professionals, by which I mean not me. But we'll use their products and we'll make your car look amazing. Uh, all you've got to do is turn up and buy us a meal deal from the co-op around the corner. We don't ask much. Um, but it's exciting. It's uh, a vote of confidence for me that I've got a sponsor. and. Yeah, it's great stuff. Genuinely, is great stuff. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't be doing it with them if it wasn't. Um, I need this channel to work, but I need it to work with integrity. And their stuff is great, and it deserves a space on your garage. And soon you will, be, you will be presented with that opportunity. So uh, yeah, thanks Nielsen, thanks uh, Graham, uh, thanks James, both at Nielsen for making this happen. Um, anyway, back to past me, who's about to do some more polishing on the Mercedes from the past, but it's there in the future. Well, it's not the future, it's the pre... I need to lie down. I'm just going to clean this panel. So, DA, I've been over it already with some all-purpose cleaner, just to knock the dirt off it. Again, sacrificial panel, I'm replacing this. So, please don't put in the comments, I can't believe he's doing that, it's hot, it's uh, sun, blah, blah, blah. 
I'm doing that before I do the rear quarter, which is in the shade, um, just to see what happens, just to see how it comes up. It's not going to be perfect. It's clearly knackered. But if I can make it look a little bit better in the car park, then, uh, then why not? So let's hit it and see what comes of it. Right then, heavy cut compound is on the pad, so I'll just spread that about a bit. I've got a fairly hard pad on the uh, on the DA for this. So, all right, where's my speed? Starting low speed. Always starting low speed. Spread the products. Spread the products around, and then. Feeding the speed. Well, I am sorry to disappoint, but that's come up brilliantly. And that's just with the heavy cut. I'm going to hit it now with a fine cut compound. Um, and then I will ceramic coat it to protect it. Um, the lacquer's still going. You can probably see it in the shot there. The lacquer is still going on the top. But isn't that a million times better than it was? That was some unexpected polishing. But the results, the results doth speak for themselves. I didn't think those panels had come back. I mean, the wing is still, it's still rusty. It's still got a dent in it. It's still knackered. The rear quarter probably does still need paint but it's it looks a little bit less abandoned now which is which is nice it's i didn't think it would come back i thought it was completely short i'm sorry i'm peering out looking at the car which is behind the camera i didn't think it would come back that well so um so i've cleaned it i've you know i've had the machine polisher on it uh the da i've gone in with some heavy compound or some heavy cut compound there's some fine compound um should have gone through the three steps really heavy medium and fine but you know got to work to your audience um as in the car not you i like you as an audience but it's come up really well i ceramic coated it after that so we'll see how long it lasts um that record has got knee paint i'm going to change that wing anyway so you know it's an experiment but that's what cheap cars are all about they're all about having experiments and speaking of experiments, there is uh, one experiment I'm about to uh, conduct, and that is the experiment of fitting big wheels on an old car. Now, the joys of eBay dictate that you can uh, get some nice wheels for not a lot of money, and that is what I have acquired. So this here is a 3SDM, 0.66, so it is well trendy i can take it to car shows and wear a baseball cap that's not got there's still got a chrome sticker on it and i can walk around and vape and be like whoa look at my wheels so that's pretty much what i'm going to do but i was looking at i was going to put steel wheels on it and uh, and have the rear ones banded out but then these came up and they're off an e55 amg they need spacing out they need 10 more spaces so they're staggered they're 18 by 8.5 at the front and they're 18 by 9.5 at the back um if you want to get your jokes out of the way saying like, oh has it got enough torque to uh, to turn those wheels um then you know stick it in the comments now also stupid joke because that's not how torque works the rolling radius is the same and if anything these are lighter than the original wheels but that's by the by you still stick that comment in so yeah i'm going to try one of these on um the problem I've had is spacers, but I'll go into that in a minute. Um, and getting the right length wheel bolts, because of course, because Mercedes, it's bolts, not studs. I've got the right ones there, just stage right. But they don't seem that happy to go in, which I don't understand, because they are 1.5 pitch, and they are the same diameter. So they should go in. Um, so I'm going to clean out clean out um one of the i'm going to clean out a hole basically is where i'm going um and try and try and wang that one of those in and see what happens um but yeah this is this is the transformative moment this is where it goes from uh 
I don't know, whack to sick? What do the kids say? Why am, I, why am I trying to appease the kids? This is when it looks nice and I'm proud of it because it's got nice big wheels on it. I like big wheels. There we go. Screw the kids. Stupid kids. Shiny. Give that a go. See what happens. Obviously, dear viewer, I'm not just going to wang it in. There we go. Oh, we're biting. We're biting. Does another one bite? Oh, it bloody does. Oh, it does. Look at that. See, you need them 10 mil spacers because there's not a lot of room on the back side of the wheel. And as I said earlier, these wheels are off a W210 E55, which I assume has fairly similar suspension components, just a bit lower and a bit stiffer. Ooh, rust. Also, if there's anybody watching who knows where you can get these gaskets from, because they've perished and they've gone before I just whack a load of tiger seal in there and call it job jobbed. Always do a star pattern. I will, of course, talk those up properly before I go anywhere. Mm -mm. In the words of Mia Wallace, as my patrons will know, I said, God damn. No interference, not rubbing on anything, not likely to, because that'll move with the wheel. Mmm, choice. And there we go, there's the finished result. Doesn't that look a lot better than when I bought it? I know that some people don't like the wheels. Please feel free to leave me some comments below about how much you don't like the wheels. I don't care, it's not your car, it's mine, and I love them. I think they set it off a treat, they don't rub, they don't foul. It needs to come down a little bit at the back, maybe 40 mil out of the back, just to balance it out a little bit. But yeah, the paint looks good, interior's great, headlights are not milky and brown like a 70s pub window. It just looks so much better, and we're not done yet. So this is just the first step of the transformation. I'm still going to replace that wing, because it has got dents on it, it is scuffed, it's got rust coming through there and down at the bottom. But, you know, it's, it's one colour now, so at least it's a bit more presentable. I think I will get away with that rear quarter. I think that will survive. I don't think I need to paint that, but we'll see. Um, there is a dent in the passenger rear door, so maybe I will, but I can't go mad. It's a thousand pound car. But yeah, I'm over the moon with that. That car, as it stands, owes me about 1800 quid, and that ain't bad going. And last week, so I've been filming this, this episode over a period of time. Last week, put it in for its MOT, and uh, after a little bit of headlight tinkering, it passed, so even better. What more could you want? So yeah, another year's cheap motoring awaits, but there's more to do. Make it look that little bit better. Paint these side trims. I've done all the bumpers now, so I need to do the sides to make them match, so I'll do that. And uh, yeah, and enjoy it, and hopefully get it to some shows this summer. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that, and it's, it's all been done at home. It's all been done by me. I'm a moron. I don't know what I'm doing, so you can do it too. So go and buy a cheap car. Go and have some fun. You know, learn by doing, learn by throwing a couple of quid about and, and having a hobby that you can drive. And uh, yeah, you will not regret it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, as ever, thank you to my patrons who are about to see their names in the credits. Mm -hmm.